Today we're unboxing the Mammoth set. This is not a paid promotion. I bought this set and I just thought it'd be fun to see what you actually get inside. Off the bat, this is an absolutely massive box. This is everything inside. Again, I've played a lot of spike ball my day. Mostly I've actually been filming spike ball. That's why I thought it'd be fun to film the new generation of set. Looks like here in the front, we have the new ball. The main box itself just slides out and it's got four main legs here, it looks like. And the bag, I think for carrying it. So let's take these main sets out. At first look, these are absolutely massive. This is way bigger than the old rims as it just has four main rims now instead of having the typical five, I think it is. Absolutely massive in size, thickness wise. So from first looking at this, this is gonna be a lot bulkier just to carry around in general. Then we also have this lunch bag looking thing with the spike ball logo. Not quite sure what this is. So they gave you extra balls in a lunch bag, but they're the old kind of spike balls. I'm assuming they're just trying to get rid of them. They have so many. I'm confused why they gave you the old ball, maybe to try it on the new set but that doesn't really make sense as they are trying to switch you to the new ball. So that does confuse me. It's nice that they gave it to you, but it does, that does confuse me. This is actually the nicest looking box in the actual main box itself. And I think it's for the new ball and the other accessories. We have a spike ball letter. Again, I just bought this. There's nothing special in here. Everyone should, I'm assuming, would get the same stuff. I'll just rip that open. It tells me I'm an ultra rare owner of one of the first 1,000 sets. I guess that's cool. And then the new ball which, wow, this is the first time I've touched it, and this feels completely different, and it feels like a dodgeball. I don't even know why. That doesn't, maybe it's probably not correct, but wow, this is wild. It feels like rubber. It feels like, kind of like a football skin, honestly, and definitely feels bigger in the hand right out of the bat, and is made in China, awesome. It's got stickers and instructions, and then we have the net itself, which is a lot thicker, it seems like. And I know there's a new system to actually attach it to the net, which we can do here. This feels like a mesh, like snorkeling scuba bag. I don't even know if that's the right description, but it feels very different from the old net. It does feel more sturdy, which is good. And then a clip, don't know if that's for the bag. And then these are the, the legs that screw in at the bottom of the actual net. And then I think we have a bag for the balls and the net and such when you're not using it. And then that main bag came as, with it as well. This is the backpack. I will say for owning other sets, this is absolutely ridiculously massive. And this is in comparison to the old pro set, but look at the difference in the size of bag alone. It looks like you're about to go camping with this thing and you're bringing a thermo rest and a whole tent. That's kind of wild, but I mean, you need the space. So I guess it makes sense. All right, let's put together the net and I'll give you some insight of what I know some other players thought of the net so far. All right, this is everything from the box laid out. It's a lot bigger than the pro set and the standard set from when I'm first seeing this. The one thing I did notice is, why did we only get one ball? I'm kind of disappointed for how much money I spent that I only get one of these, especially with it just coming out and it being so hard to buy extras of these. I know they had manufacturing issues with the ball. Maybe that's why they substituted them for the pro balls, but I would wish that they had more of these in the actual box for spending over $300 on this set. That is a little disappointing. The ball though does feel really cool and I'm really excited to play with it. Especially with all the news I've heard of how good the play can be when switching the ball. You can't even grip it like the old balls and spin it like that. You can't, it just, it just shoots off. So that's nice. I think the spinning as well for cuts and stuff was a lot harder. So that is, I think that's great news for all the serve ball that's happening and just have a little bit more width so it's easier for defense as well. I think that's a great addition. All right, I've never set this up before so let's see how this goes. And we have the four main pieces. They just click right into each other as they have connecting pieces on one end and open slots in the other. And then on the bottom here, I can show a close up. You have two bits that connect together and those are gonna be held together, it looks like, with the leg pieces. And that's four. I would say putting together the actual rim is a lot easier than before. This is absolutely massive. There's a couple differences just for the base itself. First of all, these legs stick, stick out where before they were flush with it. You can obviously kick that a lot easier, but there is a no hit zone now. So that will be inside of it. So that's not really an issue. It kind of gives it more support. And the actual height of the net itself is 12 and a half inches now, I think off the ground, instead of 6.25 inches off the ground to the top from the pro set. So they basically doubled it. I'm assuming it makes drop shots a lot easier to get. Although I've heard the ball comes off a lot differently in this net. So that is something to notice as well. I'm gonna flip it over 
and I'm gonna attach those leg pieces. So these are the four leg pieces that you get. They have a little screw on it and you just fit them in between the actual pieces of the four rims and you get that plastic together and you screw them in like so and that keeps the actual rims pieces together. And the rim is set up. Now to move on to the net, which feels a lot different from the last two versions of the set. So the hooks are now on the outside of it instead of on the inside rim of the actual rim itself, where you would normally, in the last sets, bring the net around over the top and bring it underneath to connect it to the inner rim, like right here. Now you're gonna attach it on the outside. So there's an elastic cord around the edge of the net, and that is what you're going to fit around all these edges. And then you have this long loop here, which once it's around the whole rim, you're gonna pull and tighten it like you're tightening like a backpack strap or something. And it's gonna tighten the whole net ideally to get the tautness equal around the whole net. I think it's their idea. Elastic over it. It does feel easier from the first time me doing this than the previous models. I'm gonna release some tension so I can expand it out. Hooking the elastic here over the edge onto all of the actual rim pieces. As you can see here, this is a lot easier, I think, to just pull this elastic over the clips all the way around. I mean, I like that instead of like, if you've set up older ones, it really hurts sometimes to really get it taut, especially with that net like going between your fingers. So I do like this adjustment. I just don't know how good of play for pockets and such it will do. I will say the overall quality of just moving this net around in this set feels a lot more sturdy than any other net I've played with before. I have them all the way attached all the way around. And I also noticed, I don't know this is just particular to the first 1,000 sets, but since I was in the first 1,000, it has a little mammoth here. And I'm actually 7-11 out of 1,000. What a legendary number and a legendary store. So that's really cool. But I'm not sure if they'll have that for future editions after the first 1,000. So I have not tightened it at all using the actual strap here yet. And I can show you what the drop looks like. Basically no movement at all off of it, but when I've heard it does not bounce a lot compared to the other ones, so the rallies are a lot longer. So let me tighten it up here. I just pulled it off by tightening it. That's awesome. I just had the actual clip of the net to tighten fall off. All right, Future Jack here. I, as you can see, I pulled off the actual piece to tighten it. And basically when I'm tightening, instead of pulling the string, if this was attached, I pulled the actual end and it flipped off. So it would have been nice if they had, I think, a backstop on it. So when you're trying to tighten it and you pull the wrong thing, it can't slip off. Now I have to see if I can get this back through so I can tighten the actual net again. So that is a little bit of a concern that I just broke that on the first try. I pulled it back through with a rubber band and then I tied at the end so it doesn't slip off again by going that way. So you can try that as well if that, if that happens to you. You can see by me pulling down here how much tighter you can make it. You're not gonna get that much flex in the net, it seems like, off the, off the bat. It is not gonna move very far. See some basic hitting off the wall here. Let's pocket up there. So you still have those inner pockets. So that is one of the things with it being more of a curve lip inside. I'm pretty sure those are called legal still. So you can see how that popped up. It's kind of awkward to look at, but you can see how there's a lip, like a ledge right there in the inner side right here. So as you can see in that hit, it kind of hits on that inner ledge and then pops up. So it does look like a rim, but I'm pretty sure that's legal only if you hit the outside of it or it's just gonna take some time for people to really adjust to that. So I find that interesting. All right, I'm gonna show you how to take it down in a second and also put it in the bag here and so we can see what it looks like in that. But first of all, let me give you my overall opinion of it. Structurally, it's very sound and it feels a lot stronger. I'm excited to play on it more. I do have the legend himself, the real mammoth, I would say, Patrick Drucker. He's been playing a while and he had a couple points here. So it's nice to hear his insight of what he thought on the net after playing on it a little bit. His main points after playing with it is the net feels a lot heavier, high quality, and does not move around as much while playing, which I think is fair to say. And I also say that's a very good improvement. The rims are weird, hard to tell if the ball's hitting the top of the rim or the inside of the rim, where it would normally front pocket. I would also agree from looking at the slanted here rim, it's gonna be a little different and also hard to judge, like we said. Not as many pockets, it's a great thing, he said. He also said net was loose in the middle, strapped to tight in the net, wasn't really doing much because 
of this drop shots are really good, really OP. And also we had problems like I showed you that the strap even broke. I'm gonna have to feed the wire back through for the strap tightener. He also stated the ball is a bit bigger than the pro ball. It feels really well made, heavier, easier to control sets, and you can't get as much spin on it, which I think those points are all fair. And I definitely agree with them from first using it right here. Hits sometimes come off the net really low doesn't bounce as high, it's hard to boom ball. So that also is a huge difference as well. But overall, with the ball being bigger, he said defense was easier, and it's also just harder to hit as hard because there's not as much bounce, especially when you're trying to boom ball it. I mean, it's not really going anywhere. So it's definitely interesting to hear diff people's different perspective on things. Now let's see what it looks like when we take it apart and put it in the bag. Taking off all the... Uh, elastic around the rim. Once you get half of it done, you can basically pull off the rest of the half. Unscrew these again. I think setting it up and taking it apart is faster for sure than all the other sets. Take it apart. And now another one of my concerns is how big this bag is. I mean, look at this size of this thing. It does feel durable though, and it feels like, like a waterproof material, which is nice. I don't know if that's true. And you can feed in all these set pieces. I mean, this feels like a 10 person tent. That's how big this bag feels. They do have a nice side pocket here for storing the ball or the straps, which is nice. And they have a zipper on the top. And then this is what it looks like fully on. It looks like I'm about to go hike the Appalachian Trail. And this is absolutely massive. They have straps here to tighten it, which is nice. I do think it's very comfortable overall and does fit everything very easily. I think you actually have a little bit extra room. I think you could fit more in here if you, if you want as well. And they do have a nice string bag, which you could fit easily 10 balls in there. Let me know if you have any questions about this bad boy or any concerns, and I will try to answer them below or make a follow-up video. Overall, it was really fun to make. I'm glad I can make an unbiased review and really just try it out and see how it is. I'm also gonna do some gameplay with it and we'll see how that turns out as well. Weight-wise as well, I don't think it's that heavy and it's very easy, at least weight-wise, to bring around, which is nice. But overall, I think they did a pretty good job and I'll see you in the next one.